Hi guys, welcome to this solo prestige nightfall run. This is my hunter. Uh, I'm running on an arc strider, and as you can see, I'm using top tree of the subclass, arc bolt grenade, uh, dodge reload, and triple jump. I'll be using better devils, arc manan, and, uh, and the Darcy, all masterworked, and the Raiden flux. The modifiers I've got on is arc singe, heavyweight, and momentum. So, the strategy for this nightfall. This run is very similar to the Titan run. I actually done this run directly after I finished the Titan run. The, one of the main things that changes is, obviously, with Raid and Flux on, the super is brilliant for PvE. So I can use that to take out heaps and heaps of, of, of ads. So I, instead of waiting outside the, the, the Ogre room, uh, with the Darcy, I, I just used used Darcy and go in and kill the ogre, the two knights, and and the wave of the three waves of thrall that are behind the first, second, and then inside the room, first door, second door, and then inside the room. Apart from that, the the strategy in this room is very similar. I mean, it's it's a faster run all round. You know, I think the Titan run was twenty one and a half minutes. This is just over twenty minutes, so it's a twenty minute ten second run. That's pretty good. Considering I legitimately fight the whole battle. Now, not to say that people that don't legitimately fight the whole battle have done anything wrong. I'm just saying that, you know, I think this run's pretty good for, for a legitimate run. For a legitimately fighting all sections of the boss. There is a way that you can you can kind of finish the boss in the middle. And it's a brilliant strategy. Uh i seen a, a, a friend of mine, you guys have heard me say it on videos before, Shabble91, check out his channel, he does a lot of really cool stuff on his channel, you should check it out. So, uh, yeah, he, he's, he's done a strategy with a golden gun where you can kill him before you have to slam the orb, which is an awesome strategy. And it, it really is quite a simple strategy, it's very repeatable, so, you know... I don't know what would have happened actually had I have seen that strategy before I done mine. I think I would have still done mine. I don't, you know, I, the one thing I try never to do is copy someone else's run, but I it's not going to stop me from admiring it. So there is a way that you can, you know, if if I'd have managed to do this run in roughly the same amount of time on Golden Gun, I reckon I reckon I could have took about three minutes off the time that I've done this in, but. uh it's, it's no big deal. This run's pretty good. I'm just saying that if I if this if I was if I was doing a speed run, which I have thought of, I have got some strategies in mind to do this a, a lot faster. Uh, then Golden Gun would be what I would use because that being able to do that on the boss is just super efficient. So, as you can see, the strategy so far it's very similar. We come up once we took we get into this room we got the exact same places as we went with the titan uh take out all the wizard and and the six acolytes before we come over to activate the door then get behind the left hand pillar take out the two thrall on the left four thrall on the right two two thrall on the left five thrall on the right then the wizard then we make it over at the stairs we take out the first the first knight second knight evaded evaded me which is fine because now what we're going to do is we're not going to push him. There's no need. We can go just slightly over to the left of where we are now and we get a free shot at his face. And that's with the Darcy. It's kind of all you need. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the door and we're going to activate it. And then we're going to pop a super. The super, like I've said a million times, I've said it in other videos, is that kind of... With the Raid and Flux, turns the Arc Strider Super into something completely different. It is just immense. It's my favourite Super in the game. Simply because the more... I mean, Dawnblade's got something very similar. You know, you can stack Dawnblade kills and it just seems like... As long as you're getting those kills, Dawnblade lasts forever. So when you get in here, go for the Knights first. You know, going for the Knights, you will kill Acolytes and then... Because I've got Masterwork Armor on, I've got four pieces, because obviously I've got an exalted chest plate, I get that additional 12% armor, 
whilst in my super. So the ogre was really struggling to kill me. But I've, I, I've, this was my second or third run with Darcy on the Hunter. And I actually killed him a couple of times when I, where I never went red. So, you know, it was a good run. I felt like it was going good. Normally I'd have just stopped, stopped after that. So now we're in this this room. It's the same thing. Take out all the the acolytes, the majors, and then this next section works a little bit differently because I take out all the ads, take out the the wizard, and then do do the exact same thing. But this time, and I'm glad this happened because anybody that's seen the Titan run will have seen that the when I ran up to slam the orb, the 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 shrieker never shot at me. It happens if you go far enough back, but it's. It's not something that happens very often. So this time I was lucky in the respects. I say lucky. I was happy that the Shrieker reacted normally here. Which is when when you do all of this, you kill all the, the acolytes and, and you kill the knight and you do all that. As I was running up, the Shrieker started to shoot at me. So at least I get to show how to do that part of it. So if you take, take the orb, drop it, uh, art bolt grenade's just so strong. Put the art bolt grenade down. It hurt the knight that much that he decided to jump all the way over there. His mistake. He's dead. We're going to take out the, the, the two acolytes that are left. And, and that's all the adds. Now we can go down to the back. My, I think my issue back here was that I didn't drop the orb. I kept the orb. I kept it active. Now as I run up. I'll get my momentum propped, but as soon as I get past the first blast, up to the first blast place, he will now get active and start shooting. So, you just have to wait for him to stop shooting before you slam. And 9 times out of 10, you will, you'll get through this part. As soon as he stops shooting, just run up and slam. And as you can see, he, he, do, he still puts a bit on you, but not enough to kill you. And then... You know, collect your heavy ammo, collect any ammo you need, any ammo that's lying about, and make it to the next section. Now, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. When I was doing this to start with, I wondered how the ogre section, the centerpiece, the first, as I said in the Titan run, the the center, the center area, the big open area with the two, the two uh, ogres, is the first key encounter you really have to deal with in this strike. The the shrieker, the shrieker we just beat is. It can be tricky, testing, <laughs> but it's not a key encounter. This is the first key encounter coming up, and I was slightly worried because I never had a blast, I never had a rally barricade, I would have to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with that ogre. It actually worked out to be not as bad as I expected it to be. It's still pretty tight, but having watched it back I, I, when i done the run and i watched it back i realized why it might have been a little bit closer than i would have liked and that's because i just stood my ground and it was you know who's gonna die first you don't have to do that if you when you get up on top of this rooftop you can once you take out the first ogre you can crouch down and you can stay as you're looking at this, the ogre that, that spawns, the second ogre, you can stay in on the, your right-hand side. And if you crouch down, the, the building curves, you can give yourself a little bit of cover. But luckily, I didn't need it. But it's just something for you guys to think about. So like I said in the Titan run, you want to have full ammo for the second, the second ogre. So put a couple of shots into the first one, finish them off. We don't have grenades to do it, so... You know, luckily I managed to get that final shot. If I hadn't, I got that final shot. This could have been a complete. This could have been on the cutting room floor. And as I said, I stood my ground, which is probably why I took so much damage. So you don't have to do that. Art bolt grenade for the win here. I just, I love this grenade that took all four of them. Very good grenade. The pulse grenade can't even manage that half the time. So yeah, when you're in that main room, once you've took down the first ogre and you turn around to take the second one, if you get into your right hand side, if you start taking heat, you can back back away and it, the building kind of curves around so you can you can basically get in cover. It's it's a lot better than standing there. I stood there for two reasons. One, I'm an idiot. And two, 
I'm pretty confident in my ability to keep hitting him in the face. So I kind of, it was really, it's me or you, you know, <laughs> old fashioned duel there. So because I know my super so strong, slam the ground with right trigger, does damage to both of them. And then the thing I like about the, the Raiden Flux is it actually, it actually locks on. So it's not a super that you have to be too super accurate with. I mean, for anybody that uses hammers or has used hammers for any length of time, you'll know that when 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 it gets rough, you can mess with your hammers, you know, because you get clutch. So same thing again. We've cleared that full area. Now we don't have the pulse grenade. So now we're actually having to engage a bit more than we would have liked. So you take take that that knight down, and as you can see, now the two exploders that normally I'd have took while my pulse grenade was taking all the, the, the throw, they have encroached up the stairs. So just keep yourself safe, just back away and take both of them. You've took the knight, you've got two acolytes down here, take the acolytes. Once you look inside the door after you take these acolytes, right across from you there'll be a couple of acolytes hiding behind like plant pots as I keep calling them. There's an exploding barrel on the left. Shoot the exploding barrel and it should finish a heap of them. Now uh, there's still a couple left and I think the hunter run uh, one of them suicided <laughs> by, by throwing a, a grenade at the wall and that was pretty cool. Another thing, when you get into situations like this where you've got, you've got momentum on and you're getting hit, don't take the chance. Disengage and get your health back. You know, live to fight another day. And there you go. The knight's down. There's an acolyte still up. We'll take that acolyte. Now this is a perfect example of why the Darcy is so good for this. There's three ogres here. And they're all going to go down really quickly. One. And then we look into the room. Two. We look back into the room. Three. All ogres are down. All you've got to contend with now are the, the acolytes. I do love the Darcy. I love what they've done with it. I think it was... Uh, it wouldn't be too strong to say it was a joke for the first seven or eight months of Destiny. Like a lot of the exotics. Who would have thought that Graviton Lance would be the only, <laughs> would be such a clutch weapon in Crucible? I can understand Vigilance Wing, because Vigilance Wing is a is a relic from from uh Trails of Osiris. You know, so I can understand why that is such a strong PvP weapon. But I'm loving what they've done with the exotics. I think it's a really good thing. And I can't wait to see what the new exotic armor pass is going to bring us uh, in July. I can't wait to see what this solstice of heroes and all the milestones. I love a book. I love doing books. <laughs> I know we're getting one. So we've took all the ads. Now we're going to push in here exactly the same as with the Titan. We can't escape these shriekers. We just can't. So we're going to wait for the right hand one to stop firing. And then we're going to slam. We are going to die as long as you get the dunk, you'll get the checkpoint, which actually saves you time because for the couple of seconds the screen takes to pass, you're up at the wizards now, so you actually saved yourself 5 to 10 seconds worth of time. Now, same thing again, except I don't have pulse grenades and I'm not really wanting to use my super for two wizards. So we run away, and this was, for anybody who watched the Titan run, this was the cover I was talking about that I utilized better with the Titan, the Hunter. As you can see, you know, they can shoot me all they want, but, you know, the only way they're actually going to hit me is if I, I, I kind of, I get sloppy, and I didn't. Now, we've not got full heavy, so I am going to kill some of these exploders, and then the tactic for the boss fight is exactly the same as the Titan. Exactly the same as the Titan, except for I, I do leave one of the knights up. And for anybody that watched the Titan run, you, you'll know exactly what I mean. I thought I was going to leave one of the knights up to, when I was doing the Titan so I could mop up ads. And unfortunately, that didn't happen because he stayed in my aftermath, which killed him. Well, this time, I'm a little bit more on the ball. I when I when After you put the damage on the Shrieker, uh, you damage him in the center, then he goes right. It spawns a heap of ads. It spawns two knights <coughs> and loads and loads. And loads and loads of acolytes. This time, I've got my wits about me. I I leave one of the knights up. Because the knights are the key to activating the the shrieker again. 
So you'll see exactly what I mean here. We're going to put crit, crit, crit. And then he's going to go left. And we're going to get crit, crit, crit. And then we're going to get out of there because we're being pushed by Thrall. Which is, <clears throat> you do have to be careful of that. Now we've went super because we know those ads are out. There's two, though, there's one shield knight, there's two of those. If you take both of them down, you'll bring the Shrieker back into play. So it's worth leaving one up so that you, you've got a chance just to, you know, as you see there's that one left up. You've got a chance to mop up any stray ads so that when you're trying to do your thing, with, with you know, putting damage on the Shrieker from here on in, you're not going to be dealing with, you know, a thrall coming out of nowhere. Or you're not going to be dealing with a, a solar grenade coming out of nowhere. You know, so that that's kind of why I left that night. I could have took him, but I left them so I could I could do this. Once we get over the other side, we're going to stay over there this time. I'm going to stay over that other side because even when the shrieker comes back into play and 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 is shooting at you you can get perfect cover over here so i'm going to explain where i went wrong here actually so he goes center and i, I get my crits on him six crits good stuff when he comes back into play i could have got shots on him there but i obviously punching punch, punch and throw i missed the opportunity when he comes back into play, once you take all these ads, if you're using Darcy, and I didn't do it, I will on the Warlock, because I'm going to do the Warlock on Darcy as well. Uh, I might not actually, I might I might try something different. I've done two Darcy runs. When you take out the Ogres, you take out all these Acolytes, which I always do. I always take out all the Acolytes, because I, I just don't want to be dealing with those solar grenades i don't see the point you can take everything from over here you you're safe the only time you've got to push is when they hide so make sure you don't push the areas until you've took until you've got one ogre left there's n there's no point in pushing all the way over there if if there's still two ogres up or three ogres because it's th you know three places you can get seriously damaged from so there's one ogre left when you kill that last ogre you will bring you will bring the Shrieker back into play. So it's worth just clearing out as many ads, all of the ads, before you take that last Ogre. And I was, again, I was very lucky. They just, once I took the two Ogres, and I don't know if they just do that, because it seemed like maybe I just haven't been this aware at the boss battle. But as soon as, I think maybe when there's one ogre left, the ads will start to push up to that centre part. I think all that's left now is the orange bar, the major. No, no, there is, there was another one. I think this major's still up though. The major acolyte, the orange bar acolyte. Once we take this, I think, yep, he's, he's up and that's the last ad. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and where I miss a trick is once take the ogre down i could have shot at the shrieker when he was over there i aimed and expected him to go invisible and he didn't so we just get it on him here and he, he doesn't want any of it i probably could have finished him there if i'd have been a little bit more at it and and you know we would have been looking at an 18 minute run as opposed to a 20 minute run so where i am now i'm gonna go and proc my momentum where I am, where I actually end up, where you see me there, you can stay there, and as long as you're on the the right side as you're looking at it now, left side as you're looking back out, this side here, as long as you're on this side, the shrieker can't hit you. You know, and, and, and you can stay relatively safe from the shrieker, you can see the thrall coming at you, and you can also kill this wizard. Once you start shooting at the wizard, you have to take the wizard because if you don't, the wizard will take you because she gets, she's got perfect view of where you are from there. So what we're going to do, as you can see, maybe overly cagey, I don't know, but I know that they're still thrall up and I want them dead because I want to be able to traverse the map without having to deal with extra ads. 
So that, I believe now, I'm completely free of ads. We'll go up and pick this orb up, make it over to our usual spot where we're going to take the other two wizards from. And th and that's the end of, that's almost the end of the run. Once, once, the, once the two wizards are down, we're going to slam and take the boss. And that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the run. I will leave you to watch the, the rest of the boss battle for all that's left. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the, liked the run, please leave a like. It's always appreciated and it helps the channel greatly. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video, guys. Caliban in the blind, do you copy? Yes, we're here. We took care of the hive. But those fire teams aren't coming home. I see. We will honor those who fell today. Make your way topside. You've done well.